before today's inspirational words of encouragement, beloveds, we will be blessed with the anointing ministry of Psalmist Nadine Smith. Good morning, church. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. This song is entitled, Be Grateful. from God the Father and Christ Jesus. Today's inspirational moments encouragement, scriptural reference, is taken from Zechariah 4, 1 through 14, and is entitled, Mountains into Blessings. Bless God. Bless God. What mountains are you facing today, beloveds? 
what obstacles are standing in your way. We are giving thanks unto God today, knowing that when God opens a door, no one can close it. And when he closes a door, no one can open it. Nothing nor no one shall be able to stand against the power of Almighty God. So it is, beloveds, when God says he's going to remove an obstacle from our lives. Bless God. Our mountains or obstacles could be something or someone in our lives. Anything that gets in the way or hinders causing an obstruction. It can be many things, but nothing, i say it again, but nothing can stand in the way of Almighty God, no matter how large or how great. And God had promised that through the prophet Zechariah, he would remove the obstacles in a religious leader's way by the name of Zerubbabel, whose task it was to rebuild the temple. God said, nothing, not even a mighty mountain will stand in the way of his servant. He said that he would flatten the obstacle, the mountain that would stand in the way. Zechariah 4 and 7. The Lord will not just remove the mountains in our lives, beloveds, but he will flatten them so that we can walk right over them. Glory to God. And he says, it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, safe the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zechariah 4 and 6. Therefore, beloveds, God will intervene on our behalf. For there is no obstacle, no mountain, no matter how high, no matter how wide, can stand in our way. Just as it could not stand in the way of God's servant Jerusalem to rebuild the temple, it cannot and shall not stand in our way. And understand, therefore, that the power to do God's work is not in our human strength or stamina, but it's in the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Faith through God's divine power will remove every difficulty in our lives. Beloveds, by faith we will face and overcome every obstacle despite the disguises they may come into our lives. And as we travel along the King's Highway, remaining steadfast in the Word of God and His promises, we will grow spiritually and the Lord will be glorified. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No matter the mountains, beloveds, big or small, they shall not and cannot stop the work God has called us to do. Nothing can stand in our way because nothing is too hard for our God. And he will not forsake the work of his own hands. But the Lord will perfect that which concerns us is mercy endures forever psalm 138 and 8 thank you lord we may be weak in our own strengths but god often chooses us to bring about great things hallelujah therefore let us fix our eyes on jesus and let us put our faith in Christ the Lord. Let us stop trying to bulldoze the mountains in our lives. For God is in control. And Jesus told us to have faith in him. And mountains will be removed. Matthew 17 
and 20. Therefore, be encouraged, beloveds, for whatever personal mountains you or I may be facing today, whatever obstacles that may be trying to block our blessings, they will have to take their flight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. For there is not a mountain God cannot flatten and make into a road. He made the mountains. He can surely flatten and demolish them. And step by step, take him one day at a time. Put your trust in God and he will take care of each and every mountain in our lives. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus said, have faith in God. For verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Bless God. Mark 11 and 23. Hallelujah. Yes, beloveds. Whatever we ask in prayer and believe by faith that we have received it, it shall be ours. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the God of peace be with you all. I am Minister G. Knight. Thy will be done, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.